No American spacecraft has successfully landed intact and upright on the moon since Apollo 17 in 1972. But one private space company is looking to change that. Firefly Aerospace will be landing its Blue Ghost lunar lander this Sunday. The spacecraft was launched in January and has since orbited the Earth and now the moon as it prepares for its landing. Since then, it's captured these stunning videos of the moon's surface from above. Ray Allensworth joins us now with more on this. She is the Spacecraft Program Director for Firefly Aerospace. Uh, thanks so much for being with us. So start with walking us through Sunday's expected timeline. I mean, how do you guys go from the initial descent to landing on the moon upright? Yeah, thanks for thanks for having me. So the the activity of descent really takes place over about an hour. And so we will start our descent actually on the far side of the moon. Uh, we'll be about 100 kilometers off the lunar surface. Um, and then we'll gain comms with the lander as it swings around the moon. Um, and then we'll do what's called a pitch over maneuver. And the lander will, as the graphic shows, pitch over and then softly land upright. Um, that final maneuver takes about 12 minutes. So once we command to go ahead and land on the moon, it'll happen very quickly. And Ray, I know you're making this really easy for us to understand at home, uh, but break down just how complicated this kind of mission really is. Yeah, so a lot goes into these type of lunar missions. We've been working on the design, build, and test of this lander for over four years. And there's a lot of really critical environments that you have to work through. Space is really hot and really cold. You know, the gravity on the moon is one-sixth of the Earth. So um, it's very complicated. A lot of really hard work, creativity, you know, went into building this lander and getting it to the moon. And I'd love to know, Ray, your relationship and your role in all of this. Yeah, so I'm our spacecraft program director. So, you know, I help manage the team of engineers and technicians that have built and tested this lander over the last several years. So this is going to be a big deal if this happens. If it goes as planned, which we hope that it does, uh, what would this mean for you and your whole team? Yeah, I, I mean, honestly, it's just going to mean the world to us. It's it's so surreal to be here. And, you know, we've dedicated so much of our time. It's uh, it's honestly pretty emotional just to think about that just in a few, you know, in a day, you know, we'll be landing on the moon and being able to operate all our payloads. So it's just it's a really surreal moment for me and all the team. And I just wonder as well what this will mean for the entire scientific community. Yeah, so a lot of data will come from this. You know, we've already collected a really significant amount of data for our payload customers through the NASA CLIPS initiative. And we're going to really continue to get all that payload data on the surface um, over about 14 days. So this is really going to inform a lot of future missions to the moon, manned missions in the future. So a, a lot will come from this payload data. Okay, before I let you go, I just have to ask, Ray, are you nervous? Yeah, <laughs> I am. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's just kind of a, a rising level of anxiety, but I, I think it's mostly excitement. Like, I'm, I'm really glad we're finally here. All right. Well, all the best to you and your team. We'll surely be watching and hope to catch up with you once you have a successful landing on Sunday. Thanks so much, Ray. Yeah, thank you.